Hi everyone, I'm in different surroundings today for this video, but I wanted to make an announcement and that is that I launched a new fly tying store and a fly tying channel, another YouTube channel. So both of them are called flytyingyarn.com. As you can imagine, the store focuses on selling yarn as a fly tying material. There are several places online where you can buy this yarn, but none of them cater toward fly tires and none of them were very good, to be honest. Uh, there were several things that I was frustrated with and that I wanted to fix or improve on. Really, there were five goals I had when starting this store. The first was to have just a ton of yarns. And so, mostly here I'm talking about Jameson's Shetland Spindrift yarns. These are widely used in the Tinkara community to create the bodies of flies. And my store sells 65 different colors of that yarn in 15 foot sections, which is much more reasonable for a fly tire than, you know, an entire ball of yarn. The second thing I wanted to improve was the amount of detail about each yarn. So I have multiple pictures of each yarn. I have tied a fly with each of the 65 yarns, and there's a picture of that. I just wanted to be able to really see what the yarn looked like instead of having one kind of blurry small picture. I have created large format pictures, very close-up pictures of the yarn and the flies. I also describe the color of the yarn in my own words to give you an idea of, of what I think it looks like. I mean, it's one thing to look at a picture, but it's another thing to actually see someone's description of what that yarn looks like. The third thing I wanted to do was create comparisons between colors, so have similar colors side by side so you could see the, the similarities and differences between the yarns. And so on flytyingyarn.com, if you look at the menu up at the top, one of the main menu items is Yarn Color Guide. And I have pictures of all the yarns organized by color group, so all of the red and pink yarns here, all of the green yarns here, all of the, the bluish yarns here. Um, I have them all grouped together, a picture of all of them so you can see at a glance what the different yarns look like, what the differences between them are. And then I wanted to have useful packaging. You can buy short segments of this yarn from other places online, but the packaging was never very good. It was basically just like a roll or like a like a, a mess of yarn and like, what do I do with this? You know, especially if I have five, 10, 20 of these yarns, how do I store them? What do I do with them? How do I organize them? So each of the yarns that I sell, each of the, the yarns is in a little package like this. Let me see if I can focus on this here. So each package has the name of the yarn, the color, and it's in a little baggie. You can organize it like this, like stick this in a um, in some sort of organizer, clear on the back. It's on a little bobbin. Each yarn is wrapped around a cardboard bobbin, so you can take it out and you can organize it just like this. Again, if I can get the camera to focus here, you can just organize these. Let me show you, let me grab my organizer. I have all of my yarns organized in one of these. It's like a craft box and um, it just makes it so much easier. It's so much nicer. No other store does that. And so uh, that's what I really wanted. And so that's what I've done. That's what I've created here. I also just wanted some general information about fly tying yarn available for people. And so if you go to the website, I have a, a learn section. It just says learn up at the top of the page. I've got several articles about using yarn as a fly tying material. I have information about the flies that I use. So flies that I've used and mentioned on this channel, like the Idaho Killer Kabari, the Modified Utah Killer Kabari, the Old Man Kabari. I have pictures of all of those. I have links to all of those. So you can find out how to, how to tie those. And in addition to the information about yarn, I have some general information about fly tying for beginners, what kinds of materials to get when you start out, what kinds of tools to get when you start out, what kind of cheap vice to get when you're starting out. I'm not a master fly tire by any means. I'm a pretty mediocre fly tire actually, but I think that just speaks to how easy it is to get into fly tying. It's not difficult and maybe your flies won't always look pretty, mine don't always look pretty, 
but I do catch a lot of fish on my flies. And going along with the launch of this website, I launched a new YouTube channel called Fly Tying Yarn. I'll put a link to that in the description of this video here. And I have currently one fly tying video up on that YouTube channel. It's a step-by-step -step guide on how to tie the Idaho Killer Kabari that I've been using for most of 2020. Really great fly. Let me know what you think about that video. Go take a look at it. And I don't have a set schedule yet for when I'm gonna be posting videos, but I'm gonna continue to post fly tying videos occasionally. Uh, at least, I don't know, once a month, once every two or three weeks, not sure yet. But go head on over there and please subscribe to that. That would be great. And then in addition to the Jameson's Shetland Spindrift yarns, the 64 of those that I have, I have, I think, 14 synthetic yarns for sale on the website. And I have five or six different accessories, fly tying accessories for sale on the website. So lots of interesting stuff there. You should go check it out. I think you'll enjoy browsing it, enjoy looking at the pictures at least. There are a few things you should know about the store just to keep in mind. The first is that there is a $20 minimum order requirement. So you have to place an order of at least $20. Shipping is free within the United States and shipping is a flat rate of $10 to countries outside of the US. I've run one online store before and so I'm familiar with shipping orders to the US. I've actually never shipped an order overseas and so bear with me if you run into some problems or something like that. I think everything should go smoothly. I, did, I placed some, some test orders. I think everything should be okay but if you run into a problem when checking out or when doing anything on the site just uh, use the contact form on the website there and let me know what's happening. And to celebrate the launch of flytyingyarn.com, oh, before I forget, there's also an Instagram account, flytyingyarn. That's the name of the Instagram account. But to celebrate the launch of the website and the store, I am doing a promotion. So with every order that's placed today and tomorrow, so Saturday and Sunday, let me look at the dates here. So Saturday, November 28th, and Sunday, November 29th, if you order on these two days, I'll throw in another yarn for free, uh, a yarn of my choosing. I will look at the yarns that you've ordered and throw something in that I think will complement your order. Uh, it might be a wool yarn, it might be one of our poly yarns, or what I'm calling the crackle yarns. Could be any of those, but uh, yeah, free yarn, just as a way of saying thank you and, and uh, for supporting the, the new store. And I just want to say that uh, I've really enjoyed making these Tenkara Addict videos. I plan on hopefully continuing to make them, but the best way to ensure that I keep making them, keep making a weekly Tenkara video, is by spending money at this store. Because the more money I make from the store, the more I can justify the time I'm spending fishing, right? If I'm using these Tenkara videos as a marketing channel for the store, I can spend the time to make them. Otherwise, I think sooner or later I'm gonna have to curtail the videos to maybe twice a month, every other week, something like that, I'm not sure. But uh, I have enough weekly videos to get me through, I think, March currently. So we'll get through the winter. We'll see after that. Hopefully the, the site is going strong, the store is going strong, and, and I can uh, justify spending the time to make these videos that I really enjoy making. It's just that they take a lot of time and a lot of money to make. And so uh, your purchase at flytyingyarn.com will really go toward making more of these Tenkara videos possible. And then apart from subscribing to the new channel and following the new account on Instagram, Fly Tying Yarn on Instagram, and apart from placing an order, I have one more request, and that is for you guys to share the, the news of the launch of the new website. The Tenkara community is, is a pretty small one, and even the, the general wider fly tying community is a pretty small one, so I'd really appreciate it if you shared news of the launch of the store to the different Tenkara Facebook groups, to the different fly tying Facebook groups, to Reddit, you know, the, the Tenkara subreddit and the, the fly tying subreddit, to any other forums that you frequent or to your Instagram account, you know, whatever it is, I'd really appreciate it if you helped get the word out. Uh, I think this is something that'll that'll really benefit the, the entire community. Obviously, I'm benefiting from this as the, the proprietor of the store, but um, basically I created the store to solve a problem that I saw. Uh, the the problem of just a lack of information and the lack of being able to get these yarns easily and so I wanted to solve that and I saw the need uh, I felt the need in myself in my fishing and figured it's probably a need that other people have too in fact I know it is I've seen people post to to you know the ten colors tenkara um, forum I've seen people post to the Facebook groups saying 
you know, is there any way to get like small quantities of yarn? I just want to get this a few of these yarns and it's really hard to do. And so I, I wanted to solve that problem. So that's it. That's the announcement. We'll get back to the regularly scheduled roster of Tenkara videos starting next week. But for this week, I wanted to make this video to announce the launch of the new website. I hope you guys find it helpful. I hope you find it valuable. And again, let me know if you have any questions, if you have suggestions, if you have um, suggestions for other colors of yarn you want me to get, other kinds of yarn you want me to get, then let me know. And uh, yeah, here's to a good winter of fly tying. I'm here and ready to help outfit you, help supply you with all the yarn you need. And uh, hopefully we can get through this winter together, sitting at our fly tying benches and having a good time learning from each other and uh, getting ready for, for the spring when we can get out and fish a little bit more. So again, thank you for watching this channel. Thank you for your future purchases and video views on all of the channels. And I will see you guys in the next video here.